After living for a while in Canada, I found everything great except one thing, the winter, because of the cold and icy roads. I guess all of us have experienced slipping on the ice and falling at least once in Canada. The main consequence of these falls is fractures, especially the fracture of wrist because we use our hands as a protection when we fall. In addition, aged people are also exposed to high risk of wrist fracture because of their weakened bones. This may be hard to believe, but the reports show that over 70,000 wrist fractures occur annually just in Canada. In most of the cases, surgery is required, which is invasive, bloody, and dangerous. Uh, the direct cost for these fractures is over $150 million per year in Canada and U.S. Well, I have to see reduction in this, not the university budgets. So uh, how can we deal with this problem? The cornerstone of fracture prevention is our understanding of it. So we need to perform a comprehensive assessment of risk fracture. This evaluation can be done non-invasively through using imaging techniques such as CT imaging in combination with computational analysis. As shown at the bottom of the slide, in this method, a 3D model of the bone will be created from sequential CT images. Using these models, we can estimate bonus strain for each individual. But the present models employ a somewhat simplistic modeling approach in terms of accounting for realistic bone material and mechanical properties. Considering this problem, we are developing new models which are more realistic in comparison with conventional ones. We also perform mechanical tests on cadaveric arms to determine the experimental bonus strain. Finally, by comparing the results from the models and those of experiments, experiments we can validate our models. Our results so far have shown over 7% improvement in bonus strain predictions. We anticipate that using new configurations, we may improve this prediction up to 15%. Ultimately, this research, uh, this research will help to improve human health by identifying the individuals at risk of bone fracture. And it will reduce the flow of non-recyclable surgical implants by reducing bone fracture and other injuries. Thank you very much.